everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Testing Ethical Basics. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is an episode that's been requested a lot by you guys. I mean, obviously fall and winter is coming, it's already here for most people who live in Northern Europe. And we're all looking for something warm, like a warm coat or jacket that will keep us dry and warm and cozy and comfortable and stylish over the winter. Um, so I wanted to make this video about coats, jackets, puffer jackets. There are some more like lighter weight jackets for those of you who live in warmer climates. And then there's some warmer coats for the really cold, cold month. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share a few ones that also could be really great for transitioning into fall and winter and like mid season. Um, or these like more warm fall afternoons and days. So um, we're gonna start by like the least warm uh, jacket and going into the most warm jacket and so that we'll get into more and more heavy stuff and more deep into um, winter. Um, all right, let's get started. The first jacket that I want to share with you guys is this really cool uh, cropped, it's kind of cropped, not super cropped, um, rain jacket from Lucy and Yock. Um, this is a really cool um, like rain jacket. I haven't worn it in like deep rain, so I, I'm not sure how waterproof it is, but it does look waterproof. It has a hoodie, um, zip that goes halfway here and then a big pocket in the middle which I really like that style and you can also adjust the strap. Um, yeah it's just a really cool jacket. I use it for hiking um, but you could also like wear it with jeans or if you go to school or uni this is also a great jacket to throw over a outfit just in case it's gonna rain but it's not really cold and you could layer warmer layers underneath it. Um, and you could also just like fold it and have it in your backpack in case rain comes but without taking a huge jacket with you. So it's super, super nice. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a great jacket. Um, definitely going to use it a lot probably for hiking and stuff like that. But also just for, that's kind of cool about it. So like you, you can wear it for like a city. It's not super chic or anything, but it will look really good with like a more city outfit. Um, this jacket retails for 45 euros. So it's really affordable. This is a brand based in the UK and this uh, piece was made in India. Um, I don't know how ethical the factories are, but I'm pretty sure um, Lucy and York are like careful about that. Um, but yeah, it's not like a European production supply chain. Um, so that's also probably why their prices are more affordable than most sustainable and ethical brands. It doesn't mean that it's made in India or China, that it's not made in ethical conditions, um, especially if there's no subcontracting involved and it's just like from company to company and they, a lot of companies actually go to the factories to check them. Um, but yeah, this is just something that's a little bit not missing, but I wish there was more information about the factory um, on Lucien York. But in terms of the fabric, I think this is really, really cool because it's made out of a Sorona fabric, which I've never heard of, but basically it's a high performance fiber made out of 37% um, renewable plant-based material, um, which is really cool when you think about it. Um, so it's like a, a recycled polyester kind of. Um, yeah. And I find really difficult um, to find like more outdoor and hiking and mountain kind of gear um, when it comes to sustainable fashion. And I got asked this a lot by you guys on my hiking videos. A lot of the hiking gear that I wear is actually from like either my mom who's had it for many years or like just old ski stuff that I've had for many years. Uh, so not sustainable or ethical. 
Um, and then I just use my activewear, which I will do a video about ethical activewear as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is really hard to find. And Lucien Yacht has some really nice fleece uh, made out of recycled polyester. And they have these jackets. Um, so yeah, they have a few things that could be great for like hiking and outdoors. Although maybe it's not technically made for it, I don't know. But it's it's really nice and not that pricey because we know like outdoor gear can be really pricey. Otherwise, another brand that I would recommend, which I don't have anything from right now, but if you're looking for like really high quality but still like kind of sustainable and ethical uh, for like outdoors, I would highly recommend uh, Patagonia. I know this is one of these brands that is huge but has doing a lot of great things when it comes to sustainability so that would be the one that i would recommend it's obviously a lot more pricey but it's really like performance wear and it's probably pieces that you can keep for a really long time um for this jacket i wear it in a size xs and for me it's a great size i wouldn't be able to put like a very thick fleece t-shirt un underneath it or like a big sweater but i would be able to put like like a good like thin but warm fleece under it and still feel super comfortable in it so it's not like super tight it's just it's just the right size for me if you want to have more space underneath it and be able to layer more underneath the jacket then i would definitely uh, recommend you to size uh like take one size up so that you have a little bit more space in it but um i think the s was out of stock so i got an excess and to be honest i'm really happy with this the next jacket i want to share with you guys is this really cool waffle shirt jacket from aniela paris this is a really nice brand that i just discovered not that long ago and um i really love this jacket they also have the pants that go with it it exists in a few different colors um this is something that you could wear just as like like a thick shirt um definitely like a warm shirt it's quite thick um but it's also definitely something you could wear like as something you throw on like a blazer but not as chic as a blazer and this year i think like just with the current world situation i haven't been really wearing any blazers i haven't been going to many formal events and meetings and this has just been my go-to i didn't have like any easy to throw on uh, black jackets and this one just does a trick for me I, w I had a few other jackets that were different colors and I wasn't always able to like fit like make them fit with anything like it would certainly completely change my style and I feel like this one really just suits my style so I'm really happy with it um I got it and then I thought yeah well this is going to be a nice like transitional piece and I've worn it a lot, um, especially in those like warm late summer, early fall days. Um, it's really, really nice and it's quite oversized. So I'm able to layer things underneath it. Um, this retails, this jacket retails for 235 euros. So there is a considerable amount for a jacket that's not really like super warm, but it's for me, it's like a very long term piece. Like I'm sure that is something that will last through time and styling wise it's not just something trendy um it's really something that i'll be able to style many different ways and i've gotten so much use out of it that i think it's really just worth it this also this jacket is made in barcelona in spain so that's also why it's also a little bit more expensive than if you'd got it made in tunisia or turkey or asia so that's that um and the fabric is just very special it's like this waffly really nice fabric um i have this in a size xss and as i said it's super oversized so you can definitely layer stuff underneath it. it's very like true to size but oversized fit and um yeah in terms of durability so far so great i really love it this is made out of 100 percent cotton and yeah it's just a really really nice jacket like it's just it's just well cut and everything so i'm very pleased with it and has nice pockets also on the sides so yeah really really like that jacket and super comfy and soft okay so the next 
the jacket that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to try and show it to you as best as I can. It's this raincoat with the hood from the brand Ping Pong. I've talked about this brand a few times before. I had, I have a backpack from them. I have a choir, so like a big warm sweater from them, which is really, really good and high quality. And now I recently just got that raincoat. Um, this raincoat retails for three, so 2.99, so 300 euros, which again, might sound quite expensive, but it's super high quality. It's, um, it's just a piece that I know I will be able to keep for a really long time. And what's really cool about it is that it has different like zippers and stuff. And there's actually a fleece um, jacket that comes with it. And that when you buy the jacket, you get the fleece as being part of the jacket. So now it's like untied to the jacket, but you can attach it to the coat and have it like sit in the coat. Um, so to make the coat a little bit warmer, which is super nice because that means, you know, for like just rainy days, but still warm days, you can just remove the fleece um, and wear the coat, the raincoat on its own with whatever you want underneath it. But when it gets colder, you can attach the, the fleece within the coat and it just makes like a warmer raincoat, which is super nice. Or you could also totally just wear the fleece on its own um, when you go hiking and stuff like that. So this is just a really nice fleece, has some zipper pockets. The coat as well has so many nice pockets and yeah, it's just really cool, it has some really nice details, many pockets. Um, it has this very like matte uh, look to it. I got it in black. It also exists in navy and beige. And um, this is the long one, but they also have a shorter one, which I think is a little bit uh, cheaper as well. I'm not sure the shorter one has the fleece included in it. You should check that on the website if you're interested in that and you'd rather a shorter one. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. This one is, was made in Myanmar, uh, the coat, but the fleece, I think, is made... Yeah, this is made in Myanmar. Yeah, so the jacket and the fleece are both made in Myanmar. They are recycled polyester, um, which is one of the most sustainable fabric for, like, outdoors. Um, waterproof stuff um, yes it's still polyester but it's recycled polyester so I, it's definitely not as bad as just regular polyester which is what most outdoor brands use um, and it still has high quality and very durable um, I'm pretty sure I also think ping pong I read on their website but they have like a really long thing about um, them visiting the uh, fabrics where they produce and not all of their website is made in Myanmar just these uh, specific one so yeah it's made out of 57 pet bottles recycled pet bottles um, organic cotton and um, and nylon and their uh, blue sign system partner, which is means that there's no toxic chemicals in the supply chain. And they also have the fairware um, label or certification, which um, the fairware certification basically ensures that the pieces are uh, made ethically so that they're they're constantly getting checked about like with their factories and their supply chains in terms of ethics and living wage and uh, working conditions and all that stuff so i think that's really really good and i think it's not just because something is made in asia or in a developing country that's necessarily uh, working uh, people working in terrible conditions i think it's really good to like it's obviously controversial, but there, I think that, um, you know, people in Asia do need 
like they they so some people live off you know making clothes for these european based companies um and so if some brands can offer better living wages for those people in those countries then i think this is awesome obviously there is a sustainable and and the environmental impact of like shipping clothes to asia and then back um that definitely has an impact um but yeah like i think this also um always i mean it will even if they're paid a higher wage in asian country it's still going to be lower than what you would pay for seamstress in portugal for example and so that enables some companies to still provide some like sustainable pieces but for a more like affordable price so yeah i guess this is just like a win-win some people will feel fine with it some won't um in terms of sizing i took this in a size excess please keep in mind that this is a unisex design which i think is really cool but it, you have to think that like it's going to be massive and it's still the excess is really big on me it's great because it's something that it's not elegant so i'm not going to wear it like super tight in and chic or anything like that um it's not a formal jacket it's like a more outdoor comfortable jacket which you can layer stuff underneath it wear with a backpack you know go in the rain um this is a perfect jacket if you have to get around cycling um i have a bike here and sometimes i do I run errands with my bike and when it's raining this is just the perfect jacket because a lot of my coats and other jackets are really not good for cycling um so yeah i would highly recommend that one if you're one of those people who commute a lot by bike um this is something that i would have loved to have back when i was living in berlin so yeah the next brand i want to share with you is the brand called um studios which is a belgian brand and it's so beautiful if you're looking for like a really beautifully made ethical and sustainable coat you should go check them out they have amazing pieces and i have two coats from them um the first one is this gray light gray coat with these navy buttons and the tie um all the pieces at CM are made out of um, basically the girl who creates and designs those pieces. She'll buy all like leftover fabrics and dead stock from luxury um, houses in Paris, I think, for the most part. So it's really, really, really high quality fabrics. They're not necessarily sustainable. But the fact that she's using the leftover fabrics that would otherwise be either thrown away or, you know, just not being used at all. She's buying them and she's turning them into new collections and beautiful pieces, which I think is really cool. And you can really tell how picky she is with the fabric she's using because it's extremely high quality. All the detail in it is absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, highly, highly recommend that brand this is a brand i've been loving and it's my go-to brand for coats it just looks very chic but also something you could wear like i wear these coats like more on the daily basis as well you can wear them with a pair of sneakers too um they just look really really good um so in terms of pricing i have two coats from them so i have this gray one which doesn't have like a lining inside um and then i have this beige one which you've probably seen me wear all so many times this one is by far my favorite coat um out of all the ones i have it's just this beautiful sand color it has it it's very long but it's a very thick heavy um i think this is cashmere it's so soft coat and if you'd buy this in like from a luxury and designer brand you'd probably pay over a thousand for a piece like that and, and also for the quality that it is like all the details and everything um and those i checked the website so those are not on sale anymore they are, because she works with dead stock fabrics things run out and so when you know when she doesn't have fabric anymore she'll just make a new collection so she doesn't like the things don't keep, stay on there forever and usually the things that have been on there don't come back or some sailor mirror ones but 
exactly the same, ne probably never. So yeah, these two are not no longer on sale. They're um, the gray one is two years old and this one is from last year, but she has some like new ones. And so in terms of pricing, I just checked uh, the ones from this year and it's about around 300 euros for a coat. Um, yeah, probably this one will be around that price or a little bit more, a little bit less. And then the, if it's thinner coat or shorter coat, it will be a little bit uh, cheaper as well. Um, so yeah, it really depends on the coat. All the pieces are made in Lebanon. Um, the girl who has a brand is actually half Lebanese and um, she works very, very closely with the factories there. So um, it's all made in ethical conditions. And the buttons are made out of 100% vegan every, which is really cool. And I have those two coats in a size XS. Um, I'm not sure there is size XS on the website or if she just did them for me because I'm quite small. Um, but yeah, maybe there is now, I'm not sure. I think it also depends really on, um, yeah, just um, the, the piece as well. Um, in terms of durability, they're great. Um, I've just had one issue with this beige coat is that the pocket, maybe I put stuff that was too heavy in it, but one of the, one of the uh, pockets ripped open, um, you know, uh, the lining is quite soft, so I don't know. It's just, you know, it opened here and I need to get it fixed. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to do it yet. Um, this is not really not a big deal. Um, and this is, yeah, it's maybe probably because I put too much stuff in my pockets. Uh, but that's really the only sh thing I've had happen with any of those. They still look beautiful and these are probably some coats that will stay with me for a really long time because I absolutely, absolutely love them. Definitely my favorite uh, brand for like really beautiful coats. Um, it's an investment, but in my opinion, it's not that expensive considering what you can find on the market these days. Uh, for similar ones, it's definitely affordable. Brand, if you check cashmere coats, like I've checked cashmere sweaters from Zara and they are like over 150 euros. So like probably a cashmere coat would be at least 200 and something or 300 even. So it's about the same price to be honest. And it's so much better for the environment and in terms of ethics. Um, but yeah, I think it's also important that when you buy like a, it's like investment pieces. When you buy a piece like that, you really think of the long term and, and choose a color that you know you will be able to style many different ways and you'll be able to get a lot of use out of it. Um, by the way, all of these jackets, except the lighter ones, they're all from last year or two years ago and I'm definitely gonna keep them for much longer. Next jacket, we're gonna move to puffer jackets, is this beauty of a puffer jacket from, um, Embassy of Bricks and Logs. This is such a good jacket. I love it so much. Um, this is a beautiful brand for puffer jackets, all kinds of jackets. They have beautiful ones. And it's, it's really warm. The finish shings are amazing. Like, can you check this hood? Like, if I could live in this, I would. This is so soft, so cozy. The cut is just really, I look massive in it, but it's just just such a nice jacket um, for a puffer. This retails for a, a 390 euros, so definitely an investment. But when I think back about it, of all these years of living in Berlin and like freezing my ass, I would have definitely spent 400 euros on a winter jacket like this one if I knew how much it would be worth it. Like I never suffer from the cold in the winter again with a jacket like this. So it's definitely life changing if you're someone who gets really cold and has a hard time in the winter um, and you just wanna get really warm. It's also great for when I go up to the mountains. So yeah, it's just an amazing piece and I could not recommend it enough. This is an investment again, I know, and it's very expensive, but I also believe that it's something that you buy once for many, many years and something that you keep. You could also ask for like Christmas or gift, 
yourself for like a birthday or something like if you don't know what you want but like you really need a good winter jacket you could like have all your friends give some money for you to get it or your family i don't know but this is something i've done in the past before where i really need something for the winter but it's really pricey and i would just tell my family instead of buying me gifts and things that i don't need just being like well i'm gonna buy this if you want to participate um and i just actually don't know what i'm gonna be doing this year i need a pair of winter boots um and i don't think i need anything else so i just asked a pair of boots for winter and yeah i know at least i know i will be using them um anyways this uh these coats are made in china um but there is a whole page on the embassy of bricks and locks website about um you know how often they go visit the factories and make sure everything is in like fair conditions and ethical conditions um so yeah i think they're pretty like on point with that um and again it's not because it's made in china that it's necessarily bad the whole jacket is made out of recycled material which i think is amazing when you think about it because it's such a specific jacket and coat and also as a vegan dawn is not vegan because it comes from duck um or birds and so yeah there's no duck dawn in it so that's also something really great which a lot of brands don't offer um i have an n size xs and its size is really big so i wouldn't pick like a bigger size there's plenty of space in it to put a warm jumper underneath or anything like that um and i think yeah if a, a jacket like this was made in europe it would probably cost like close to you know maybe twice the price or you know one and a half time the price so yeah that's also something to keep in mind i think that as long as it's made um in ethical conditions um and that it's you know the um, company's being transparent about it then it's it's great um but yeah really love this coat I'm gonna wear it so much this winter again I, I can't wait so the last puffer coat that i want to share with you guys is this navy one from pangaya um this one retails for 550 euros and it's made in italy so again that's also probably why you pay this much and another thing is that this puffer is actually super cool it's made out of technology called flower dawn which means that all the dawn that's in it is actually made out of wild flowers so it's a fully biodegradable material made with natural white flowers and a polymer plus recycled material so like all the outer like things and the inside is all made out of recycled polyester here we can see a little bit of the the dawn um you may have heard of that brand pangaya before uh, they do a lot of loungewear and it became very very popular i've had this jacket since last year um i've checked their website and they don't really have the exact same one again this one actually came with like removable sleeves and uh something that you can attach in the bottom to make it longer i think now they only sell like one that's kind of like like this but i'm not sure you can remove the sleeves of it yeah this it actually was more expensive last year because it was a bigger one this one but like yeah the one they have now they have it in black as well it's kind of like this long sleeves normal length and it's just a really nice puffer jacket it's I wouldn't say it's a little bit less warm probably than the embassy of bricks and logs the embassy of bricks and logs feels a lot more cozy and a little bit more heavy um but this is a really nice puffer jacket as well it looks a little bit more chic a little bit like you can put it with maybe i mean also so the embassy of bricks and logs i have it in a pale olive green um you know there are many different colors they have a lot of beautiful colors they all also have different cuts of puffer jackets um, but yeah, I really like this one. I think navy is really beautiful in the winter and I think it's a great jacket. Definitely expensive, but great. I think if I'd have to go for just one in terms of, vers of versatility and styling wise, I would go with this one 
because it just suits it's just more basic it just suits my style better but in terms of like quality vs price point i would go with embassy of bricks and logs because it's like at least 100 euros more affordable than those and i think in terms of the quality they're not like better quality but they're um, they're more special and they're definitely warm and they have some really nice details to them um embassy of bricks and logs have many different colors and um yeah if i have to pick just one i would probably pick pick a super simple one from embassy of bricks and logs like in another color um but yeah they I think it just also suits with the style really well and it's nice to wear some like some colors a little bit in the winter as well because otherwise it gets just really dark and depressing but yeah um so that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it gave you some ideas of where you could shop sustainable um outerwear it's obviously expensive um i'm completely aware of that but i also think it's an investment like a few years ago uh, when I was younger, I really wanted a coat, a wool coat from like a, a good brand and it was around 300 euros. So this is not necessarily much more expensive compared to what you get, um, I believe. Um, but if this seems like way out of your budget and you don't want to spend that much money on a jacket, uh, I would highly recommend you go to a thrift shop or a secondhand store or even go on Vestiaire um, or Depop, Vinted because there are some really great you can find really great uh, winter jackets for um, more aff affordable prices if you'd like to um, and yeah i think secondhand shopping is a great way to still shop super sustainably but um, for a lower budget so that's something i used to do a lot and i don't do it now anymore because i don't need more stuff but yeah if i um, was really looking for something then I would probably do that sometimes because you are able sometimes to find really really great stuff that can hand um, So yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and Yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!